Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name's Taylor Smith, and behind me we have our 2023 Newmar Country Star. This is a 3412 floor plan. And if you aren't familiar with the Country Star, this is going to be the first step into that diesel pusher um, line for that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting over here we, for our mirrors, sorry. We have the convex exterior mirrors with remote control and defrost. We do have blind spot detectors here, integrated camera system. Nice little grab bar here to gracefully enter inside of the coach. And then for our wheelbase, it is a 206 with aluminum wheels. And then we have our full body paint master uh, piece finish with the high gloss. And this graphic is called the Roca, I believe, if I'm saying it wrong, but it's nice blue, silver, and white. And then we have a dual fill on either side with a 100 gallon diesel fuel right here. And let's go ahead and make our way into the first storage compartment here. And then our second one here is going to be the one dedicated for the through and through pass through storage. So plenty of storage space inside of a 34 foot long coach. It's pretty impressive. And for our next bay, it's just a little cork board so you can put tools, kind of nail in some racks, configure it just how you'd like. Next storage compartment here. And right here we have our two chassis batteries in this bay with the chassis battery disconnect right inside here. All right, yeah, we, as we make our way over here in the rear, this is on a Freightliner XCR 360 um, horsepower and it has a Cummins B um, diesel engine, 800 foot pounds of torque, and it does have the mobile eye comfort comfort drive, V drive, axle suspension, and cruise control. We did upgrade to get the exterior ladder. So if you wanted something to kind of gracefully get up and check your roof out, you have that option. And then for the, what's on the roof, we do have two 15 Penguin heat pump ACs. And then we have a nice little backup camera, the very top, and then sliding down all the way to the rear, we have our nice little hitch with the seven way, uh, seven -way pin connector for a tow vehicle. All right, sliding on over to the driver's side in this first bay. In this bay, we do have our block heater that's nice and plugged in for that engine. And then directly above that, we have our Truma AquaGo, which is our tankless water heater. Next bay here, we have our 50 amp shore power cord, a nice little light too for at night. And then you have a little plug in here if you wanted a TV on this side, you have that as well. Sign over here, we have our def tank. And then you do have a little holder here for any of those hoses or anything that could kind of be a little dirty where you don't want it rolling around underneath your coach, getting everything else dirty. I like how there's a nice designated spot for that. Now sliding over here to our wet bay, the beautiful stainless steel backsplash there with everything etched in so you don't have to worry about it kind of falling off. But we do have 65 gallons of gray, 45 gallons of black, and 105 gallons um, of fresh. So we have our exterior shower here, our sewage rinse and our water supply, and then of course that water filter. And then your dump will be right here where you can go ahead and slinky it through. Right over here, we have our Suburban. And then this is just the opposite side for that um, pass-through storage. All right, right over here, we have our four six volt house batteries, which also comes with a 2000 watt um, Xantrax inverter. And then we have our propane tank here, which is 32 gallons. We also have ducted heat in here, which is going to be propane based. So I just wanted to mention that we're talking about the propane tank. 
Right over here is that second fill. This one. That we discussed earlier. Again, 100 gallons. We do have the generator running, but I'll go ahead and pop that for you too. Just another, all your fuses and stuff in here. To go ahead and look at that generator, we'll just pull this and it'll automatically pop up here. This is a 8KW Cummins Onon generator. Put that in there, there we go. So as you can see, Again, get all your information that you need from your generator. You do have another exterior light. And then your windshield wiper fluid is going to be right down there. So it's very accessible to go ahead and fill that up when you need it. Perfect. And then we do have the mobile eye, which is right above that, which is your lane tracking system. And now that we walked around the whole exterior of the coach. Let's go ahead and make our way inside. All right. Before I open up the slides, I just wanted to kind of show you how much storage, I mean, how much walkthrough we have. It is kind of minimal, but you can step on this little carpet, which is part of the slide. A little sideways shuffle until you get to the kitchen. Um, but you could still access that mid bath. And then of course you can open your refrigerator to access any drinks or go ahead and make a sandwich while you're going down the road. All the great things about having an RV so you are accessible to you on this floor plan. And now I will go ahead and I'll just open up those slides starting from the front. So the interior decor is gonna be the Roca decor again. And then we have our Glacier Glazed Maple hardwood cabinets. They're the Glazed Maple flat designer cabinets with soft closed cabinet doors. And then we do have an upgraded floor. It's gonna be the vinyl plank tile looking floor. So it is a nice upgraded floor. first slide and now going on to the second one. We have a total of four slides on this floor plan. And then the furnace that's in here, I know I was telling you it's a propane ducted heat, but it's uh, 35,000 BTUs. Now we'll go ahead and get the last two slides here in the rear bedroom. I'll get out of the way so you can see a little bit more. <laughs> I love the simplicity of the Country Star. It's not too flashy. There's not too much going on where it feels a little bit overwhelming, um, but it still has all the advantages that you'll need as far as um, control systems. Oop, there we go. Now onto the next one and all that. And this is such a great size coach too, where you don't have to worry about um, not getting into any of the national parks or anything like that. But this is going to be our master bedroom. I'll go ahead and start over here with the bed, the nice little backboard here. It is cushioned. And then you do have two windows that do open on either side to kind of get you some breeze pass through. And then you do have some uh, controls up here. So you got your security lights and then you can also control your accent lights and any other lighting inside of the coach. Great storage up above. They all pass through in these cabinets and then you do have two charging outlets that you can do in there and they string through these little holes just so you don't have to worry about the wiring going through the cabinets here. You have a nice little pass through to easily plug in anything you need. Moving on to the storage bedside, you're gonna have this on either side. So I love this little counter space, some more charging, which is USB and then one regular outlet and then a little cubby here. Make sure I'll unlatch. You have a nice little latch here so you don't have to worry about these sliding around while you're driving. But I'll start on this side. 
We got our spare cushions here. And then our other one, which will convert the bed, that little table, the booth dinette, into a bed. So you have that cushion that's already in here as well. And then I'll go ahead, hanging rod. You do have a light where you click it. You'll have to turn it on and off manually. And then right over here, it's just some more storage. And then this is just a little access point because it has um, washer and dryer prep. So if you did want to get those installed, you can do that here in-house before you purchase, but you do have that option. Love that it's already pre-plumbed, so it makes it a lot easier to do that here in-house. Right over here, we have our Samsung TV. I love the different levels of shelving. It just makes it flow and look a little bit more homey. You kind of put some plants, some succulents, you know, do the little double-sided Velcro so it doesn't fall off. Um, but you can get kind of creative and decorative in here. And again, just as far as like the valences and everything, the colors and not too flashy, you can kind of dress it up or even dress it down. It doesn't have to be super crazy. So I love that. It just screams beach in here. Kind of just all the sandy colors, um, but more storage directly underneath that TV. And then you have three drawers below here and then two more just above. And again, they are all soft close. We do have some more lighting right over here as well as charging. I believe I have all the lights on right now. Yes, I do. And there is a high and low option. Alrighty, now we'll go ahead and work our way into the kitchen area. Here is your pocket door push down to unlock. So if you wanted to keep this door open while you're going down the road, you can and it'll stay in place. Our pantry, right over here. And then we have our Norcold four door um, fridge freezer. Kind of open it all up for you with an ice maker. Perfect. And then directly across from the fridge is going to be our mid bath. So I'll let you guys get a little overview in there and then I'll pop in to kind of open up the cabinets. As you can see, plenty of counter space there, medicine cabinet directly above that and then you have some more storage window and a decent sized shower. And then of course your exit escape door. Now I'll just go ahead and open up the cabinets really quick so you can kind of see, I'm blocking it there, but plenty of storage space inside of here technically four levels inside. And then our medicine cabinet, two more shelves, all carpeted to help with sound and rattles going down the road. Does have a nice little ex, um, chain in here so you're not gonna be slamming the glass up against your towel hanger, so I love that. Noir always thinks ahead and when it comes to that aspect of thinking ahead to keeping you know, the product safe and not breaking it, it's kind of Again, another chain here and plenty of storage underneath. I love this tile looking backsplash, grout with a little accent tiles here in there as well. And then you do have the fantastic fan sensor in here as well as your pump and more lighting, which will be right over there, kind of hard to see, but it is there. So I just wanted to point that out. And now we'll go ahead and close up the door and we'll move on to our little control panel here. So this is a nice little touch screen click home, it shows us a little overview, the date, the time, house and chassis battery, all of our tank levels, some more lighting, so we can just go ahead and do it from the mid section of the coach, not having to go and find all the buttons to turn things on, so I love that. And you can also turn on your TV, well, up and down, not turn it on, but um, you can lift it up and down from here as well. You just have all of your charging here, and then of course, heating and then more lights where you can go through living room, kitchen, bath, and bedroom. And then also the bathroom master and all that good stuff. Down below here is just another fantastic fan. So this is gonna be the one located just above us for our kitchen. And then this little black thing is just a sensor which will be located all throughout the coach to kind of help your heating and cooling stay consistent throughout the whole entire coach. All right, now on over here to our kitchen space. 
I love a decent amount of counter space with this cover over the propane three burner cooked up here. And then our Whirlpool microwave, which is also convection. It's going to be a 30 inch, so it's pretty big size convection. Slide it on over just to open up some of these cabinets for you to see the storage inside of the kitchen area. So this is direct, directly above the sink and directly below the sink. I'll go ahead and get those. Go. and then you have those covers for your sink as well so you can go ahead and plop those on there to give yourself some more counter space and prep area. Four drawers and then an additional three underneath that stove. Kitchen window, love to have that when you're cooking, help me get in a nice fresh breeze or also just watching the kiddos or kind of looking at the campground while you're washing dishes or cooking. Right over here is our nice little booth dinette and I will push the button to show you that TV lift. And while that's opening, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the storage that's just above that. And then you have your Bose sound bar. Here's where you'll put all your TV receivers for this TV. Perfect. All right, and then this is the booth dinette that I was telling you about that does convert into a little bed. So I'm gonna try to gracefully do my best to show you guys this Take these off. Since I'm taking these off so I don't have to pull them out, you do have the nice little seat belt there and a drawer underneath as well for more hidden storage. All right. So now that I unlatched it, you just go ahead and push it down. All the way down you can see there's a little ledge there just to kind of help with additional weight and then you'll put these cushions back on one there one here all right and I'm gonna go get that cushion that was in the master bedroom And you just put this right in the middle. I like how it's really snug so you don't have to worry about it kind of moving around while you're sleeping. So it's just like a little too big to make sure it's not moving. But a decent size space for kiddos to sleep and it's kind of all cushiony all the way around except this little ledge here and kind of this. But you can just stick another pillow there if you'd like or even that other square pillow we saw might fit there. So it'd be a little creative to get a little bit more protection. But directly across from that, where your TV is, you have a nice little recliner chair and a longer couch here to fit at least four people comfortably on this side, as well as a bunch more cabinets above. And then this is an emergency window where you can open that. Nice big window there, um, but all of them open. So a total of four windows just on this side that can open. Right here is where I lifted up the TV. So you have the up and down, and then you have more lighting throughout the coach. Here, I believe I have them all on. There we go, yep. Close these up. I love Numar's lighting, especially at night when you just wanna turn on the accent lights. It just gives it a warm feeling. Perfect to just like relax, hang out, watch a movie, or even just chill out and read a book. So definitely sets the mood. And now we'll come up here in our cockpit area 
So just another control system. These are where I um, did the slides and the two front ones up here. We have our security lights. These are our awning controllers. So the light that is in there, I forgot to mention, you do have like a nice little LED light strip inside that awning. You just gotta turn it on and then you can retract and extend. And then this is for your door awning, your Truma AquaGo setting. So right now it is off. Your wine guard, your Xantrax, which is the 2000 watt Xantrax. And then this is just your power control system where you can flip through as far as the generator and other um, operation modes and so forth, as far as the block heaters, all that good stuff. And then you do have some storage here, but again, more fuses and your brake box is gonna be right up here. All right, I'll go ahead and sit here and turn on the coach so you can see the LED dash light up. <clears throat> Perfect. While that's waking up, I did just want to point out over here, we have our leveling jack. So with just a push of a button, you can level out your coach. Two cup holders. Here is our heated mirrors for how I explained earlier. And then the electric part to go ahead and configure them to your liking. We have our lights, our dome light, and then our house battery boost as well as chassis. So vice versa, if you ever are in a pinch and you need to use this, it definitely works. Here is our LED dash here, as you can see, our gauges, our steering effort, our fuel economy, change the mobile eye settings as far as how loud the sensors are and the vibrations, your trip controllers, vehicle settings, diagnostics, etc. So right now this coach is brand new, it's never been purchased before, it has um, 1,177 miles because it is driven here from the factory here and then you can kind of also see your chassis batteries and then your distance until empty. And then of course the PSI to let you know um, when you're ready to roll. Directly over here, we have our two screens. So this is going to be our Voyager for the camera system. And then our, over here is just for radio, navigation, and all that good stuff inside of here. Directly below, I do have my generator running, so that's why it's, it's nice and orangish yellow for me. But we have our visor and our shade, our fans, high, medium, and low for the fans, and then our air horn. Controllers for our, um, AC and heating, and then we have some charging and then some storage directly under that. This entrance door lock is just so um, if you want to go ahead and lock it, you don't have to get up. You kind of got your seat, your steering wheel, and you're completely comfy, but you forgot to lock that door and you're all by yourself. I love just having to the comfortability of just pushing that button and you know it is dead bolted and locked and ready to go. Alrighty, well, that is going to wrap up everything for our 2023 Newmar Country Star. Again, it's the 3412 floor plan. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, or need a little bit more information about this coach, I'm your girl to talk to. Again, Taylor and my con uh, contact information is below at 970-388-7937. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.